Baratza is a very well-known name in the home coffee grinder space, and we've actually already seen them once before on this channel when we reviewed the Setsay lineup. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Vario W+, an updated version of the already very popular Baratza Vario, except with a few added tricks and upgrades up its sleeve. Could it be the perfect grinder for you? Let's find out. Before we get going, I do want to mention that this is not a sponsored video. I actually got this grinder on loan from the one and only Mr. Kyle Roselle, in case you're wondering why it's white. If you want to check out the Bratza Vario, I will of course have it linked down in the description below. Starting off with the build quality and design, the Vario is a simple and unassuming design that could fit into a wide variety of kitchen styles. It's available in black or white finishes, and it comes with a 230 gram capacity hopper, which can also be replaced with a single dose option. There is a light within the grinding area that is supposedly to help you ensure no grounds get left behind, but I think that mostly it just looks cool. In terms of build quality, the Vario still isn't the most inspiring build on a grinder that I've ever laid hands on, but not in a way that I'd be worried about long-term longevity. In fact, in the new Vario Plus models, they have further improved the internal mechanisms and the grinding chamber. What's still slightly uninspiring to me is the plastic that does remain on the outer shell and the wobbly grind size adjustments. The Vario Plus and especially the Vario W Plus are very quickly inching their way out of the entry level price range. So I think that Baratza really needs to pay attention and start finding a way to make these grinders feel a little bit more premium because the home grinder market is quickly becoming very competitive. Moving on to the burr set and actual grinding performance, Vario grinders have always been known as one that can punch above their weight class, given a few aftermarket modifications. Now, when it comes to the new W+, they've kind of done away with all of that. Baratza have paid attention to what modifications were being done most commonly on their older grinders, and they have included those from the start on the W+, those being an all-metal grinding chamber and updated steel burrs. Now, like I said, I got this on an exchange with Mr. Roselle, and in return, I sent him the Malconig X54, which is a grinder that I was really enjoying for pour overs and higher clarity espresso shots. When I got the Vario W+, I really felt like I just picked up where I had left off with the Malconig, and given a little bit of research, that shouldn't necessarily have been too surprising, because the burr set in this grinder is very similar to that in the X54. Not the same, as you can see in this photo, but very, very similar. So from a grinding performance perspective, the Vario W Plus is doing very well in a performance to cost ratio. And if you're looking for an all around grinder, I think you'd be hard pressed to find a better one in this price bracket. The shots have good clarity, they have good sweetness, but that grind distribution is not too narrow that you can't dial it in easily on espresso. It really is a good all around grinder. With that being said, if you don't need espresso capabilities, something like a fellow Ode with SSP multi-purpose burrs might serve you better if you are purely, purely pour over focused, and it would provide that better grind quality at a lower price point. However, the fellow Ode cannot grind for espresso, so that is why the Vario W Plus is coming in at a higher price bracket, as well as some workflow items that we're going to touch on next. Moving on to the user experience, this is where the Vario W Plus could either lose some points or further confirm that it's the perfect grinder for you, depending on the workflow that you want to have. Grind adjustments use a macro and micro adjustment that provide a total of 220 possible grind steps. And although some people will inevitably jump on this for not being stepless, you're gonna have to trust me, the grind steps are perfectly small enough to easily dial in for espresso and pour over. The Vario W Plus integrates a scale under the grinding chamber to make consistent and really carefree dosing an absolute breeze. People who love this system really love this system, and for good reason. 
It's able to measure not only the weight, but also takes into account the grinding rate so that after a few doses, it learns to stop the burrs early so that the final weight lands almost perfectly on the number every single time. If you're using a full-sized hopper that is full and you're dosing for pour overs, this is quite simply one of the best systems around, full stop. However, when it comes to single dosing, things get a little bit more challenging. From a grind retention standpoint, it actually performs surprisingly well, holding on to a maximum of 0.5 grams in my tests and more often landing in a 0.2 to 0.3 gram range, which is perfectly acceptable. The challenge comes with the built-in scale. If it ever detects that the weight on the platform isn't increasing, it shuts off the grinder. So you can't let it run out that last half gram to a gram that might be stuck up in the grinding chamber. This is the same reason that they don't include portafilter forks with the W+. It wouldn't work with the included scale. And for that reason, it clearly shows that Baratza considers this to be a hopper-fed and brew-focused grinder, which I think is a bit of a mistake. They've shoehorned themselves into a workflow that is more restrictive than the grind quality this grinder and these burrs can produce. The workaround for this is to put the grinder into its override mode, which you can look up how to do in the manual. This allows you to hit the start button and the grinder will run until you hit the stop button. However, that's just a workaround that I don't feel like I should have to do. They could have just as easily put a manual grind button right on the front. The Baratza Vario W Plus is a great addition and update to the existing Vario lineup. Baratza has taken a good hard look at the modifications people were doing to these machines and they have given them to you straight from the factory in the form of an all metal grinding chamber and an upgraded burr set. Baratza have made the workflow of the W Plus decidedly hopper fed and if you are going to use it in that way then look no further. It is probably the best option out there in this price range. However, if you want to single dose in your workflow, you're going to have to override the built-in scale, which is not necessarily ideal for a grinder in this price range. Overall, the Vario W Plus keeps its reputation as a grinder that outperforms in its price range, but not without a few quirks along the way. Again, if you want to check out this grinder or any of the grinders that I've mentioned, I will have them all linked down in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.